Are you all right? The noise here, look at this one. Hello, welcome to... Oh, I can't talk now. Welcome to Star Wars Collectibles here on Benham TV. I'm delighted to have with me my great mate again, Paul Metcalf. How are you doing, a, Paul? Always a pleasure. Um, not from the dark side, though. I'm here. No, I don't, yeah, I've got to be careful with that one. He seems to be got... It comes with voice control it as does, well. That, yeah. that doesn't mean I'm only pretending. It's been a disturbance in the force, I think. Yeah, you can feel it, can you? Can you feel the force? Yeah. But uh, great to have you company here on Benham TV. If you are new to Benham TV, it's, uh, Benham TV have been trading for nearly 50 years now. And many of you know they were very synonymous originally with stamps and coins and that sort of business. But over the years, they've sort of spread the wings and diversified into all areas of collectibles, really. So if you're looking for a, you know, a, an original government document or a signature maybe of somebody you'd never dream you could get, Marilyn Monroe, Elvis Presley, Winston Churchill, they're the place to look. They have some amazing items. So do keep in regular contact and check the website relating to the show www.benham.tv and you'll see all the different genres of shows that we do. You know, I mean, what have we got on there, Paul? There's so Is much you? on there. We've got um, Harry Potter, we've got James Bond, we've got an amazing music show with some yeah. iconic acts on there, I've got to say. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Game uh, of Thrones. Game of Thrones, yeah. Loads of sports shows, different yeah. sports Boxing, shows. Boxing, sport, all yeah. sports, wrestling even. Yeah. And there's a bit of a dodgy looking character on there called the Croydon Crush, just to keep out of his way. And we've got some fabulous people. Debbie Jones, we've got Jade, who we would love to see, who, who's coming on with us. But the most important thing is we've got you. We are a family here at Benham, and we love to hear from you. So if you've got any messages, anything you want to say, send a, mes a message to us at info at benham.tv. Love to hear hear from you whether it's something you like something you don't like or something you're looking for we'll do our utmost to get it for you we will don't forget you follow us on facebook instagram uh, instagram and twitter as well we'd love yeah. to interact with you out there as well and many of our items that come signed in this hour uh, they originate from um, an organization i'm a member of called aftal that's a-f-t-a-l and u-a-c-c -C. they're probably the top two autograph dealer trade associates in the world but the most important thing you can google have a little look, AFTAL. The most important thing about them is you know that when it's got that name, it's 100% real. No ifs, no buts, you get the real McCoy. Really important when you're buying signed collectibles to know the origin, really is. Don't forget. Anyway, better shut up and dip in and have a little look at what we've got we've in got this amazing hour through. A lot of to Star get Wars. First of all, this one is 300, 600. This is a, a fabulous uh, mounted Great Britain uh, official license and endorsed Star Wars stamps. You've actually got the 12 different characters there uh, that they've actually reproduced on stamps. There's one or two of the more recent ones and some of the really old key characters from many, many years ago. Framed and mounted in that position, in that condition, it's a stunning item and £49.50, beautifully framed. Please allow, by the way, if you haven't watched these shows, please allow about five, at least five clear working days for framed items because they are individually framed and mounted. So please allow five to seven working days. But what do you think on that? It's beautiful. You've got some of the main, as you say, main characters there. You've got Yoda, you've got Princess Leia, you've got uh, one of the stormtroopers there. You've got Harrison Ford, as you can see there as well, as Luke Skywalker. And yeah, and then some of the more modern ones, uh, Kylo Ren's in there as well. Um, yeah, it's brilliant. It's got some, you know, if you're a Star Wars fan, you're going to recognise those. But then I love underneath. Isn't this yeah, the first one? Yeah, can we one go back? Just yeah. show that quickly then, Kieran. That uh, image at the bottom. I don't know if we can go back to that because the graphics on that yeah. are superb, aren't they? And there's all the Let's iconic um, vehicles, of course, with the Millennium Falcon there, which is actually based, this is unbelievable, they saw a half eaten hamburger. <laughs> And a pickle look at me, on the me. side. I was looking yeah. at you, and uh, and they said this, and that that's where they got the idea of the Millennium Falcon from. Oh, wow. Apparently, that's what I've, I've heard. Anyway, <laughs> well, so there you go. You heard it first here on Benham TV. See, full of information for you. And the stars around the outside really kind of bring the whole thing together. It's awesome. That well, it's like a piece of art, yeah. isn't it? Really, and they, it's what's commonly known as a stamp sheet lit. Um, a collector stamp sheet lit, but with the broader image of the 12 different characters over the years, it captures everything about Star 
stored in one place, isn't it? Yeah. It's a beautifully produced item. And if you know anyone who loves their Star Wars, whether you're buying it for a friend, family, birthday, anniversary, special occasion, or the old cliche, just because I love you, you cannot go wrong with that. And do remember with these shows, if you go to the website to www.venom.tv, if you look down the home page at the side, you can actually select which shows you want to watch and when you want to watch them 24 hours a day anywhere in the world so you can tell your family your friends whatever and they can see these shows at their own convenience so if you're at a galaxy far far away as long <laughs> as you've got the internet you can watch them galaxy yeah. far far away Indeed. yeah it is you can't go wrong we better move on because we've got loads to show loads. you but uh, that was 300 600 can't go wrong with that this one is 300 601 you'll see some of the similar characters in this Again, these are officially licensed and endorsed postage stamps of, uh, of Star Wars, or obviously it is now with Disney, I suppose. And this is actually called the Ultimate Collector's Sheet. It really is. And it comes to you, as you see it, they're framed and mounted. You've got this great image down here, haven't you, as well, of Darth Vader down yeah. here, or Darth, is that Darth Vader? It is Darth, Darth Vader, yeah, Darth definitely, Vader, yeah. yeah. Darth Maul's got a double ender and, uh, and, um, on his um, lightsaber, and that's definitely Darth Vader, yeah. But I love it, it's sort of a silhouette image, really Can't cool. Can't go wrong. And again, you've got all those great characters, haven't you, as you walk down, as we sort of pan down there, you can pick them out. Now, each one of those characters Obviously, it's been created and designed as a specialist collector's item, but each one of those characters is a genuine British postage stamp. You could, in effect, take those perforations out and take those characters out, put them on your letters or your postcard, and use them as postage. So that adds to their value from a philat philatelic point of view. That's a stamp collector and either That's way. That's good. So that, I'm learning it? today. I'm yeah, learning. we know that. And, uh, and they will be, so you have the, the stamp collectors, and then of course you have Star Wars collectors worldwide want to get their hands on items like that. Beautifully framed and produced, and I think that's a snip. £57.50 would look great on it. It's great. Uh, the red really jump, makes it jump out as well. There's, there is uh, some characters from the uh, latest uh, Star Wars film on that. Little Porg, you see that little sort of creature there on the side there? It's, it's this one. right in the middle. Oh no! Uh, a little uh, based on a puffin uh, when they were filming over oh, an yeah, island. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the one. It? Yeah, yeah. Um, they were based on a puffin. So the, where they were filming an island when they were filming the, uh, on that particular scene, these little puffins were running around, and uh, they, they got the idea of porgs from that. So that's the pork. And <laughs> really? they became very popular porgs. People are a big fan of them. They're merchandise. Uh, a lot of people uh, fell in love with porgs. So it's good to see a little pork on there like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. And the BB right. uh, the BB nine as well, which is the little ball with the. Uh, almost, you know, right next to R2-D2 there, you can see that's another iconic. So these are real characters that if you're a Star Wars fan, you're going to recognise. Kylo Ren just above the Porg. Yeah. Uh, so you've got, um, you know... Carrie Fisher up there, of course. Pretty yeah. Well, I mean, Leia. we should mention it. I mean, it's very sad. But luckily, you know, she managed to film all her scenes before she went. So at least we've got her final ever scenes, yeah. you know, her final film. Um, and what a film, you know, if you're a Star Wars fan. I'm not going to... No spoilers. But it is just brilliant and you know and, and she did it she did well right to the end i mean nobody really knew she was going to go so that's uh, terrible uh, isn't yeah it? sad but again it's great to have something uh forever you know you're going to be able to have this forever but I, I can't that darth vader at the bottom is just so good isn't it it's the, brilliant coming imagine, out of the smoke yeah Love imagine it. if you were lucky enough to get dear dave prowse to sign that for you so we do have some dave prowse material on here by the way yeah but if you were lucky enough to get it you know you can't go wrong absolutely fabulous isn't it look at that all those great characters on there captured for you on that sheetlet and again cannot go wrong. 57 pounds 50 and it could be yours it could then we better move on so moving on from uh star wars talking to the man himself here he is <gasps> Is that your is that your Darth I'm Vader impression? I don't know. I thought it was that yours. Is very Terrible. bad. That is very bad. <laughs> Let me tell you some facts on him though. Uh, yeah. He was originally offered uh, Chewbacca, yeah. and he turned it down because uh, he said that oh nobody remembers the goodies, they all remember the baddies, and I think he was very right. True. But what he didn't know was that he was going to be wearing a mask in the film, and also he didn't know that they were going to revoice his voice. So he was no. doing all the lines nicely, and then when he went to see it, the first time he went to see it. Uh, James Earl Jones, of course, did the voice of... Uh, yeah, I know Dave very well. I've known him for many years. He's a good friend, yeah. him and his little wife and family. I know him very well. 
And um, yeah, you're quite right. He was very unhappy about when they voiced it. And he was, he claims, I'm not sure if Peter Mayhew was very, but he claims he was <laughs> offered the opportunity to either be Darth Vader or Chewbacca. Yeah, yeah that's what and I And he heard thought, that. and I think Dave's words were, he didn't want to be dressed up in that woolly outfit all day. And oh, a bit bleak that not it? in there, like, it you know. Been very so hot. Yeah. He, uh, that is the reason. I'm trying to appall him personation but Dave is my mate I love him the bits and Thank he's a goodness. lovely guy <laughs> yeah and uh, last time I saw him was in the local supermarket he was loading up his groceries I said to the girl on the counter oh, do you realise you're uh, serving Darth Vader and she looked like me I come from another planet you no know no idea and Dave said what are you doing in here you know but yeah lovely man known him many years and of course started originally as a, a builder a, a bodybuilding champion and had a gym in the borough near London Bridge with right. his brother so lovely guy but again Everybody wants, you know, it's like with cult things as well, no disrespect, but if you put Bruce, well, I say that, no matter who you put in there, a top, top actor, Bruce Willis, Tom mm -hmm. Hanks, anybody who fabulous actors, massive appeal, but if they suddenly become Darth Vader, the fans still want the first one. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's like Batman, everybody wanted Adam West because yeah, he original. was the yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And agree. it's the same, whatever you do, whatever happens in the future, Dave Prowse will always be perceived as Darth Vader and the fans love him. Cues for him at conventions are huge. I'm and now yeah. Dave's not doing the conventions, obviously he's getting, you know, held, he's had a couple of health issues, but he's gonna be well missed. And um, it gives you an opportunity to actually, you know, buy something there, personally signed. I was actually in Dave's own home near mine in Surrey, and I did actually, he know? Did he know yeah, you were there? Yeah. He didn't let me out. Did yeah, you were there. The window open. Yeah, yeah. Like. I creeped in when he weren't looking, <laughs> and um, and this was personally signed, so I can tell you the date, the time, wow. and everything. That's great. And I've got a picture of Dave and I sitting there while he was signing these, and many of them went to charity as well. So it's a great item, personally signed. And where else would you go? to get that you should be getting that now that's a great yeah. one really as you can is. see this one's personalized by yeah. the way at the top but the one you get will not be personalized this is just an example we've got right for the, so you uh, don't have to be Dave no no you don't have to be Dave before Dave <laughs> you, get, no. you will get one uh, without the two Dave uh, yeah okay. you get right. it without but Good it's work. a great item and again it captures him head and shoulders there you wouldn't want to argue with him would no, you guy like that terrifying you know? and he's a big guy Dave's tall anyway and he's big friends, actually, with Lou Ferrino, who plays the Incredible Hulk. Oh, yeah. They're good mates. They've been to conventions together. I went and first met them together in Blackpool. I've met Dave before. And, uh, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And because of all their British, you know, the bodybuilding background, they all keep in touch and talk to each other. Wasn't he the Green Cross Code Man? Yeah, well? he was Green yeah. Cross Code Man. I remember that, yeah. yeah. And he was, in, uh, he was also in items like the Wicker Man. He usually played a monster type character because right. he was big and powerful, you know. But yeah, when his voice got dubbed, he wasn't, I don't think, a very in, he wouldn't be, bound would he? with that, no. you know. But then again, I said to him, you know, with that beautiful Bristolian accent that you've got, Dave, maybe it's not a surprise, you know. Could he, he, he's a great guy, you know, he's a lovely guy. But we used to say to him, you know, like, can you imagine going, you know, like, he will get old, we go, we are like saber. <laughs> it doesn't come in quite as threatening. Oh, is your it? father? Is that, yeah, it's that yeah, deep, rich work, voice. But Dave's a lovely guy, cool. and again, it's a great opportunity to get your hands on something, one of the key characters on the original Star Wars movie, 300 602. Great signed photograph. It will come mounted and everything, just ready to slip in a frame and hang on your favourite wall. £69.99. Can't go wrong. We all love a baddie, don't we? Yeah, we all love a baddie. That's got to be, I think it's been a vote. He was voted, wasn't he? The ultimate baddie, baddie. movie baddie, yeah, I think. Baddie of all time. Uh, we think of how many of all the movies and Darth Vader was voted the ultimate just baddie. Just do that and he could make them. Ooh. Yeah, whatever. Scary. When you think about it as well, it's Star Wars. I mean, I've had the pleasure of meeting quite a few of the, you know, the key actors, the original ones. And with all due respect to them, most of them were, weren't very well known at that period in their careers. But they brought in, of course, um, the, the famous one, Albert, um, Alex Guinness. Uh, but everybody else was quite well known, weren't they? Everybody else was fairly new. Uh, but when they spoke to them, some of them, they said, like, we've got these parts in Star Wars. I remember saying to Kenny Baker, did you ever have any idea how big it might be? And he went, I had no idea at all. He said, when I first read the script, I thought it was um, well, a word that means not very exciting, let's say. But he said, like, for the rest of my life, I've been traveling the world, 
doing conventions. That's my life. And it's massive, you know. But uh, yeah, it's quite, it, it's enthralling. And uh, the, when you go to conventions, you see grand, grandparents with grandkids. It, it's ageless. All ages, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah definitely. But there he is, Dave Prowse as Darth Vader, personally signed just for you. Hang it on the wall, frighten your neighbours, turn their heads. But of course, it's real and it's personally signed. £69.99 could be yours. Moving on to a guy we just mentioned as well in the, in the middle there. What a lovely man he was, Kenny Baker. Yeah, I met him a few times as well. He was always at the conventions. Yeah, yeah. he was. 300, 603. Stop. Lovely guy, Kenny Baker. Again, as R2-D2, the infamous character. Again, everybody wants that in their collection. Yeah, the they? story goes that apparently they're a bit naughty. They used to all run off to lunch when they called lunch. And he used to forget he was in there, just, uh, <laughs> yeah. and he'd get left inside, and he'd, he'd be get forgotten about. But he'd always take it with good, uh, with good jest, because he was that sort of character, wasn't he? Because you've met him, and I yeah, him. he was a lovely guy, lo yeah, full of stories guy. and fun, and you know, he, he again always had a big queue at conventions. Mm. Everybody wants to meet Kenny Baker, don't they? And uh, he, he had loads of stories as well. He, he was a tremendous, he could have been a storyteller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you ever hear him do a, 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 you know, a question and answer session at a convention, say, he was wonderful, you know. And he didn't mince his words or his adjectives, you know. He was good fun, good time, and it's sadly, sadly missed. Yeah, Great definitely. Guy. But that's the thing, because it's to get that signature now impossible so that's a good one to get for your collection it certainly is and and like invariably what happens when a lot of these uh, celebrities are no longer with us sadly the demand exceeds the availability so and true. you get this like, insatiable appetite didn't you to get your hands on items it's like a great that. image as well so that, yeah, yeah really and, nice. and obviously we cannot guarantee this but certainly in the past items like this when the celebrities leave us the prices do start to rise obviously we can't guarantee that please don't buy it for that but at the end of the day, if you want it, get in there quickly because very, very few items like this now around. Do remember, if you go to the website, www.benham.tv, you can see all the items in this show. You can see all the other shows, as we said, we've recorded. Loads of them. You can just pick what, something that you like or you know someone you know is going to love and just tiptoe through that website and you'll pick up some amazing items. You can also follow us, can't they? Yeah, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter as well. And yeah. you're good at all that. You're doing I all love that. all that. Yeah, yeah I do. It's a good I'm way, you know, that you maybe. can, you know, interact and I always tag you in on the posts. And yeah, stuff. I know. Yeah, Thank you. Fun. I do appreciate that. That's good right. that. Moving on the from Kenny Baker there as R2-D2 to the one. Always reminds me, of, I always used to think when I saw it, oh my God, we're going to lunch at the mother-in-law's on Sunday, you know. <laughs> but um, anyway, we won't go into that. This, of course, is Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca. Massive guy. Absolutely he's six huge. six feet tall. Yeah, you, you probably know. Well, he's, he's tall. I think he's more. He's about six foot seven. Oh, really? He? Okay. Massive. Yeah, in his early days, you may have heard this story, I'm sure I bored you with it before, but he actually at one point was a hospital porter yeah, yeah. in Mayday Hospital in Croydon. Now, a lot of the lads in Croydon, now Croydon was well known for partying and you know, weekends, and you imagine on a Friday night, you wake up or you go and they've had too many sherbets or something, and you wake up and you see Pete, someone that he wasn't obviously dressed as Peter May, someone that big, you know, yeah. and you'd been, you were creating last night, you'd be like humbled, wouldn't you? Imagine this great big guy pushing you around. Well, I heard that he <laughs> lost his job because he was too busy with his filming because it was at Pinewood but then when he finished he got his job back yeah but you wouldn't you wouldn't argue with him would you no. he's huge and i believe he now lives in america so very very hard signature to get you know it, 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 if you want that do please get in quickly because he does less and less conventions now and i know the last time they had a convention many people went there and couldn't even get near him right you wouldn't and, no. and when you, the other thing is you know when you go there you know, imagine you drop any old shop you may drive in the car or you go to the convention the time you drive there or you go on the train Buy you pay your admission food yeah, you expensive. queue up for hours Sometimes you still don't get the signatures. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Here you can sit in that armchair at home, happy as a sand boy or a sand lady, and you can get these genuine signed items. No ifs, no buts. They're the real McCoy. Sent to your own home, and then when you work it all out, a lot less hassle, and you know they're real. So it cannot go wrong. But again, so great Chewbacca character. was based on um, Lucas's dog, so he had a little sort of dog. I'm not sure what breed it was, but oh, he really? said that was the whole idea of... Yeah. Uh, but it was originally going to be a smaller character, and then they went with... And Spandy. Wasn't it how he got the... The story goes that well, if you ask him how he got the part, he just said he stood up because of his size. Yeah. She was like, yeah, part's yours, that's it. 
<laughs> so right, isn't it? It. Yeah, yeah, can't be bad. Great. But you're right, he doesn't do conventions now, so no. very good one to get your hands on this as well. Really, really get in there quickly. There aren't too many of these. And once they're gone, yeah, yeah. Once they're gone, no guarantee we can bring that back to you. 30604 <laughs> will bring you a piece of Star Wars history in the shape of Peter Mayhew. That was his voice, by the way. I thought he was going to have the Chewbacca. That was the lead in. For, uh, yeah, here we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> he is available for parties and the special occasions that do give us a ring. £75 <laughs> will bring you a very rare signature there, but you go, do not delay, please, for that. Get on the phones or on that website quickly, otherwise you could miss out. Moving on cool. from uh, Peter Mayhew. Now, again, this is another one of the variations of the British, the Royal Mail official British postage stamps. You've got all six there together, framed up. They look really great they as do. well. Yeah, and yeah. and the, f the, the framing on these is superb. As I said, they're really well framed. It's quite a thick frame. I mean, you know what you pay for framing these days? Yeah, that's you know? the thing as well. If you were to frame these up yourself, it, it would cost you, as you say, about 20, 25 pounds. I don't know. But, mm. um, and we showed the frames on another show how thick they are as well. We, I haven't got one to show you at the moment, but they are really thick. They're good quality, sturdy frames. So, yeah. They We've been told me, not to touch them. Yeah, they don't want to be banging the set, you know, and the set flying <laughs> the around. Come you know. down. The trouble is, no one believes I used to be a ballerina. That's the trouble, but yeah. never mind. That was in another life. <laughs> no, I was joking. 30605 will bring you that Star Wars set of eight great eight, characters yeah, yeah. there, aren't they? And can, do you know all of them? I'm trying to think of all of them. We've got the Porg characters. there. You've yeah. got R2-D2. You've got DB9. Uh, we've got C-3PO, yep. and then they're three, that's what I'm saying, they're three of the kind of really modern ones. But what's good mm. is if you can just, uh, we can't get in close enough, but you can just see, they are written on who they all are as yeah, well. Yeah, sure. So you can cheat. Yeah, it actually Have tells you on the stamps it themselves does. who the characters are. And again, if, you, if you've joined us during this hour, great to have your company here on Benham TV. But do, do, please please have a little look at these because they are stunning. And remember, every one of them is a genuine postage stamp from Royal Mail, officially licensed and endorsed Star Wars stamps. You can take them out, put them on your letter, and your friends will be delighted to get them, but don't do that. No, don't do that. Because it's been designed as a collector's item, and they really are quite superb. That's gonna sit on somebody's wall, in pride of place at home in it in their an office an office the or business or something wherever yeah, really it looks nice. and people are, it's always a talking point as well isn't mm. it? it's like oh where did you get that yeah like, where'd you get that how'd you get that TV. wow yeah there you That's know it. but it's really important do not miss out on any of these items and you need to ask yourself as well where would you go normally to get items like this you can't just get in your car and drive down the local shopping mall you can't go to the local high street you may be lucky there might be a specialist collector's outlet near you but at the end of the day a special collector's shop or gallery but very very rare so if you want to get them order them now before they've gone and you've missed the opportunity. Lovely. Moving on though from uh, the stamps again there of Royal Mail, this is moving us back to something that was produced uh, some while ago. This of course is the Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. This uh, originally is a series of postage stamps. Again, it's a stamp sheet lit, great images, but this was produced in Australia. Now, oh, if you right. look at that, as you look at the, the close in there, look, yeah, yeah. as you look, you can see if we could stop just for a second, maybe that image you can see, thank you, is of Australia, and the item, the image next to it is of the character. Oh, yeah. That's actually known as a as 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 a philatelic. They used to call it a philatelic label or a philatelic sheet lid. But you've got the image of the character and the image of Australia. If you could imagine taking that out as a perforation putting it on your letter, and it is actual postage. Wow. You could send that if you were in Australia. Obviously, you wouldn't do that, because you'd Don't wreck it. But it's, again, a great way of getting something very different. And the other thing with these, they were only ever available on a very limited availability. So most of these sold out and were snapped up by collectors worldwide. You had the stamp collectors and the Star Wars fans, and they went. And you normally, the only places you'll be able to find these is from somebody like Benham, who's a specialist dealer with lots of experience who you can trust and you get items like this and they may be offer some to us we don't have a huge stock of any of these anymore but again it's a great addition to any collection I bet you've yeah. never seen them no you? I haven't no they're really nice those they're really really nice yeah well we had on the Harry Potter show didn't we have some in Harry Potter we had something similar yeah, story similar. Yeah, yeah yeah that's right okay. but they are very different you know and it's yeah, really great cool. you know because half the time you miss
miss items like this because, and again, the added, if you like, disadvantage of these, they were only available for a limited period. So it, they're very hard to get, very, very great, sought after. And again, if you're adding a collection, just hang it on your wall, they look brilliant. Great yeah, little price that as well, brilliant. if you're starting your collection. Yeah, can't, can't go, go wrong, can you? Go wrong with that one, good. Absolutely not, it I really is us. a great item. We're moving on from the Australian Revenge of the Sith. We're moving on now to uh, the next one. This is, of course, one of the uh, actors uh, down played there. This is Hayden Christensen. Yeah, he played Anakin uh, Skywalker, who, spoilers, are you ready? He became Darth Vader. Yes, he did. So hopefully yeah. you've seen that. You probably know that now. But anyway, but uh, Hayden uh, Christensen. Uh, how do you say it? Christensen? I think it's Christensen, isn't it? Christensen. Everyone called All right, Christensen. Christensen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and this is a lovely image. Yeah, really, really nice image, this one. Yeah, really yeah. nice. And as you say, because of the importance of the characters, again, a great one to add to a collection. And yeah. It gives you a great opportunity here on these shows with you know items like this from Benham TV. You can actually build a collection at your own pace, at your own time, or as your pocket allows you to do. And But they are real items, and you can get these, but we don't have huge stocks of many of these. So if you see something you want, Please get in there quickly, because otherwise you could well be disappointed. Good. Now, a fact on him, he gave, had to gain £24 for the film, so he had six meals a day. Wow. I'm not looking at you, Gary. No. <laughs> no, you wouldn't think so. You know, mean, but it's fresh air that upsets me. It's terrible. Of course, indeed. I keep breathing but that fresh £24, air. £24. Pounds, but this is the dedication they had for their character, you know. I know that, it's that's amazing, what they had to do. It? So they had to eat, 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 so he could get... Big enough to play I think I had a role like that when I was about nine, but I never shed it afterwards. <laughs> that was my problem. And I discovered rugby, and they thought, oh, well, fat lump anyway. You know, and the ballet like, went out the window. And the it? ballet went yeah. out the window. I couldn't fit in me tutu anymore. Anyway, 30607 will bring you Hayden Christensen there as Anakin Skywalker. Great image of him there. Again, photo great photograph, isn't it, that? Yeah, really Personally nice. signed, £95. It is, um, again, it's a great way to build a whole collection, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really nice, yeah. Um, so if, if you're a Star Wars fan, that's a good one to get. Anakin Skywalker, massive, pivotal character that, that grew yeah. to be you-know-who. Um, so, yeah, so if you're a Star Wars fan, a good one, yeah. And we'll ask you later, by the way, we'll ask you again which are your couple of favourites. I've already so got started. a few, yeah. I've yeah. already got, a, got ahead of the game, I think. And you go to some of these conventions as well, and it's yeah. true, isn't it? I mean, I'm not just saying it. I mean, you'll know if you go, but it is true, isn't it, that often you'll get there and the crowds are so deep and so big, unless you've pre-booked or something, you've got a set time, you sometimes could go there all day and still not get the autographs you I want. remember when I went, there was there were a queue for Mark Hamill, and there was a queue, and luckily I was, I was doing some filming there, so I got to bypass the queues. I was very popular, as you can imagine yeah and uh, and he wasn't there and they were still queued up and it had a little sign saying gone to lunch so he'd gone yeah. to lunch and then you've got to wait the two or three hours that you know and he could be in the queue and that in and you miss all the convention this way you can yeah. get the photo from us and enjoy the convention when you get there that's right it's a good point isn't it because and especially some of them conventions like the you know the big ones at the NEC and Excel and yeah stuff, they'll be 20 30 celebrities there weren't they so yeah, yeah. it's impossible if you want like four or five hot names you can't get near them no well, you have to go more than one day and again yeah. that's a lot more cost doesn't it yeah. yeah it certainly is but if you fancy uh, a piece of hayden christensen a great photograph there you can frame up hang on your favorite wall can't go wrong 30607 as uh, paul was saying started as anakin skywalker and became darth vader Great one for you, £95, can't go wrong. Do remember, if you joined us during this hour, great to have your company here oh, on yeah. Benham TV. I hope you will. You'll f do remember this name, do remember the channel where we are, and do remember that website, www.benham.tv. You can follow us also on uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, just search Benham.tv, you'll find us there. And the great thing is if you go on that website, have a little look at the shows, it's like an Aladdin's cave. And the items are constantly changing, new items coming on there. So do keep looking and do keep looking at that website. And remember, tell your family, your friends, wherever they are all over the world, they can uh, actually see these shows at any time and uh, just pick them up. Um, and Benham, is, is, as we were talking about this earlier, I mean, Benham now been going nearly long, 50, 50 years. 50 years, yeah. So, so you've built up all that sort of respect and, um, you know, over the years and the stab, they're very established, obviously. But um, I mean, I've been caught out, I don't know about you, but I've bought things off, uh, I won't mention the website, but 
uh, bidding website, you know the one I mean. Mm. Um, and they've come, and it's obviously been something that's been scanned, and it's not the real thing. And you yeah, know, this is so important that you're guaranteeing that you are getting the signature from the actual artist. One tip I always say, Go on. just me, and I'm like an old woman, but it's one tip I always say, don't answer that. Is <laughs> if you're buying a house, you do a survey. Right. Yeah. If you buy a, a, a car, car, you do a yeah. service history. Yeah. You get a horse or a dog, you but check the pedigree. Yeah. If you buy collectibles, what do you do? How do you know it's real? The first question you should always it's ask good, it's a good one. is always ask, how can you prove to me that that is real? We can every single time. And remember, the most important thing is if you're buying for someone, um, you must... You must always keep the certificate of authenticity and any paperwork that comes with it. Because come the day that you move it on, it people, that will certainly make it much more interesting and could even add to the value. So you can't miss you out. Put it on, like, if it's on the wall, could you just put it on the back of the frame? Yeah, a lot of them comes with certificates yeah, to put yeah, yeah. on the wall. But even if you don't, keep the paperwork. Right, very important. Paperwork. Moving okay. on, though, from Aidan Christensen cool. and staying with the theme of Star Wars. Now, this lady, we tried to get you some, not being rude, but some of the maybe more obscure characters, the characters you wouldn't get, but ones maybe you'll miss. This is 30608. I think we pronounce it Bai Ling, don't we? Yeah, Bai Ling. And, and she, uh, she was a senator, yeah. So she, uh, one of the female senators senators in the film uh, and again not a massive uh, part in the film but if you're a real Star Wars fan and I know there'll be a lot of people watching that are this is a great one for your collection because yeah. again I don't think she does many conventions so no, it's, never a, seen it's a good one up. to get and uh, if you are a collector a real you know a really good one to get so yeah look out for this one can't rare. go wrong look at that price yeah rare. rare it is 30608 will bring you or someone you know the opportunity to own that hang it on it put it in a frame hang it on the wall and it's going to turn heads seriously all of those we used to say these items if you're buying one for the first time you don't need to be a collector if you just love star wars or you know someone who does and there'll be millions of you out there wouldn't there they will. who know someone who would love this or some of these fabulous star wars items don't miss out. Get in there quick because, uh, again, a great opportunity here on Benham TV to build a collection of Star Wars characters over the months, over the weeks, over the years. Get the ones you want, build a collection and be amazed. Your fans will love it. Your friends, they'll come around and go, where'd you get that? How'd you get that? Wouldn't it? It'll be all like that. Yeah, definitely. As a, as a fan and, and as a collector, great work. Got to start your collection somewhere. You've got to do it today. You've got Choose. to anything of this show and uh, make that the start of your collection without doubt moving on though because still got lots to show you this next one is 300 609 i never know how to pronounce this i always say my friend michon bourrage that's pretty good. aura sink sounded yeah, good I that's pretty then. good weren't bad for a cockney was it that one she was the Mission. feared bounty hunter yeah, yeah. on tatooine and uh yeah she again she's not uh, gets one of those who are a real fan to get this one because it, mm. it's she's wasn't on screen but as fans will probably know this already, but she was in a lot of other scenes that just got cut because sometimes yeah. there's not enough time and no. scenes do have to be cut. So and fans know this. So this is a real rare one to get. So there was talk of her popping up in future films. Maybe she will. We still don't know that. But um, again, it's a rare one. So if you want this one, go for it. You're dead right. And we can actually tell you with this where it was signed, when it was signed, even the day it was signed. So do not miss out. It's a great item to add to your collection. And as Paul said, one of those you'll probably not come across too often. 30609 will bring you Michon Bourrage. And if that's wrong, I do apologise. As Aura Singh, great uh, mounted, will come mounted, personally signed photograph. And again, great price for it because somebody you just don't see, would you? No. £95. Can't go wrong. Wrong. We're moving on and going uh, back to some of our uh, stamp sheets. It, stamp sheet, let's go and say it. 30610. This is the stamp uh, Star Wars Vehicles of the Saga. It's very similar to the previous one we yeah. saw. Comes framed and mounted. All those great images there. It comes framed and mounted, but it's a stunning item, isn't it? £49.95. And those graphics again, aren't they? You've got Yoda and Darth Vader. They look brilliant, don't they? Yeah, really starting. Really going to jump out um, when you've got that uh, displayed on your wall. Um, mm, we're watching Bantam TV. We are. That's my <laughs> yeah. Yoda impression. Not very good. Um, and, of course, Darth Vader there as well. Uh, yeah, really nice. Classic vehicles from the saga. You've got some great ones on there as well, uh, including, oh, the wing, wing Fighter on there. Yeah, Millennium Falcon. 
Yeah, all of, all the ones, all your favourites on there. The, yeah, and the other interesting thing, in case you've just joined us with these, if you can imagine, as you look at that, or we look, we're going close, you can see it quite closely there on your screen. Each one of those images, like a, it's a map of Australia, and the image alongside it is known as a philatelic label. If you took, if you could imagine cutting, not you would don't cut it, don't do or it. going up the perforations, you would take the image of Australia with the image next to it, put that on your envelope, and you can use that as genuine postage in Australia. These are all licensed and endorsed in Australia. Really, really wonderful items and very, very rare. And the, the thing is, you can't you can't go wrong with something like that. No, and you've got Yoda on there, who's one of the, uh, a character that was, is, uh, every fan loves Yoda. Mm. Um, and when they decided on uh, bringing Yoda into the films, the original idea was they were gonna have a monkey in a mask, which I'm really glad oh, they didn't really? go with, because it didn't work the same. And they called upon Muppets creator, Frank Oz, who's obviously uh, right. has done all the Muppet characters, uh, to do the voice of Yoda. It's the same voice as Fuzzy Bear, and uh, I think that's oh, Piggy right, as really? well. So there you go. So, oh, um, yeah, so, but yeah, he's a, he's a great puppet, great iconic uh, character. Gave, he was there to sort of back the story up, because a lot of fans uh, would take it that when something is said in the film, that, oh yeah, they're just sort of sending us off on a goose chase here. Mm. But whereas when Yoda said it, it was like, okay, that's gospel, but it's true. <laughs> that's, that's the way they used him anyway. And that's amazing, isn't it? And the, the other thing about these as well, these Australian <laughs> ones, I said it earlier in what we were talking about the previous one, they were only available for a limited period. Right. Now, once that period was over, in fact, most of them sold out before it came Well, they out. would, yeah, as but they, fans. they were any that were left were withdrawn. And from that day onwards, you could never buy them again. So you haven't been able to get these through the normal channels for years. Right. They've been sold out. The only place you can get them is from people like Benham, who at the time bought a larger stock, and they still have a few, and they maybe let a few out at a time. And there aren't too many of these left. All of these Australian limited edition, uh, well, not limited edition as such, they were limited availability uh, simply because they were released and then withdrawn very quickly. They wanted to make them special. They wanted to make them rare. And that's exactly what they've done. And interestingly enough, sometimes if you go on those websites where you can buy anything and whatever, you'll see something like one or two of these crop up occasionally, all of these Australian ones. And sometimes the prices are astronomical oh, right, okay. because they are very sought after, you know, and they don't normally come framed and mounted like that. They're beautiful that as frame well. as well. It's yeah. always worth mentioning the frame. The frame is it's a lovely frame. It's got a lot. You, the, when it arrives at a frame, no faffing about, but straight on your wall, straight, and you can give it as a gift straight away. Yeah. I always think if you're not, you know, if it's all framed up, it's ready to go, isn't it? That's right. And again, great image there, isn't it, of Darth Vader. The decals and the detail on that, it's like yeah. a piece of art in its own right, isn't it, really? You've got what they call, it's kind of a stamp sheet lid, but when you look at that and the detail on those stamps and everything and the background, they're just superb, aren't they? Yeah, really nice. I like that one. Really is fab. Moving on though, um, do, do, by the way, if you've just joined us during this hour, great to have your company here on Benham TV. My good mate, Paul Metcalf. Hello. Great to have him here. He's massive in the world of cult TV, presenter, he does comparing, does all sorts. But most importantly, in his social life, I'm right, son, big fan of the some of the big cult sci-fi nerd cult stuff yeah yeah awesome i was just so pleased to be here it's been amazing yeah, it's to see you, some man. of these amazing things and the the one that we're looking at now as well we're about to look at um, yeah. i have to say it's one of my favorites i think it's so lovely it's great price you've got uh, eight fantastic images there really bright all of them really are really bright stand out aren't they yeah they're, they're really, good really good the number for this one, by the way, is 300-611. It's the Star Wars framed collector's presentation card. What that really means, if you're a stamp collector, sometimes you'll know when they do a new release of stamps, they get all the stamps like in a you know in a packet with yeah. it. Like, so there's a set of four, you get the four stamps. And behind it, they'll have like a larger card where you have like this with a, a like a background or, of a, that relates to the image like that. If you can imagine the background of where them stamps are set, you'd have the stamps on, and they call it a presentation pack. Right. But this is a presentation card because it's a thicker thing. And what they've actually done is taken this presentation card, which is actually very collectible in its own right. And as you say, the characters and the decal down the side there they've drawn are really striking. Yeah, aren't they? really nice. And it's set in effect with a full set of the uh, of the of the most recent Great Britain. Uh, 
Star Wars postage stamps. So you've got all those great characters there, all framed up. It looks brilliant, but yeah, it actually really comes does. as a complete piece, obviously. Really good. BB-9 uh, just po poking around the side there, saying hello as well. Really nice. Yeah, yeah. and that's a character that's become really popular already. Yeah, and it? I think they, they, you know, they, they sometimes get it right, sometimes they get it wrong. I mean, there's characters like Jar Jar Binks, where if you're a Star Wars fan, absolutely hated it. It was one of the characters they brought in, and they just, mm. it just didn't work. You yeah. know, somebody like uh, DB-9 works and everybody loves uh, uh, DB9 and he has become as popular as maybe R2-D2, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's amazing, it's isn't it? Yeah. And some of those original co like C3PO and all that as well. Yeah. You know, when I actually were at a convention, which I had the honour and the privilege to uh, interview Anthony Daniels. Anthony, yeah. And we interviewed Anthony Daniels as C3PO and Kenny Baker right. as R2-D2. And they said in the middle that I was there. And Dave Prowse walked by my mate, because I told you he was a mate. And he went, who are you? And I went, I'm oh, interviewing. He went, no, you, you said, you, you, look, you look more like Jabba the Hutt to me. And I've carried on. So cheers, Dave. Love you to bits. But yeah, nice he was that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't know what he meant, really. Um, obviously, had his sunglasses on that day. But they all really are popular, these characters, aren't they? Yeah, really and popular. And do remember, if you go to the website, www.benham.tv, all the items in this hour and any other Star Wars items, you can see there, they're constantly changing because obviously some items sell out and they change, etc. But we're always bringing new ones on as well. And not only that, whatever you're into, James Bond, Star Wars, whatever it is, you can pick out there and you can go down the home page. You've done that, haven't you? Yeah, I've watched the other ones. The show yeah, you want to see and you can do it 24 hours a day. So you can watch them 24 hours a day anywhere in the world that's got an internet connection. Which is through your mobile, your tablet, your computer or on screen. It's a choice is yours. But don't miss out because obviously these shows are quite rare. You won't find anything like this on British TV. No. Nope. In or you know, shopping TV, probably not in Europe, possibly not even in the world. You may find them on some of the, you know, a few specialist ones on YouTube and Facebook, but something like this with its depth and the different channels you see us on, it's probably quite unique. So it's very important. Tell your friends, tell your family. If you like what we do, tell us. If you don't like what we do, tell us. And we'll always interact with you and answer any questions you've got about collectibles or geeky TV and niche markets. We'll geek that's out what together. We like. yeah, yeah, yeah. We love it, don't we? It's really good. Moving on, though, from um, the stamp sheet, it's another one again. This is staying with the Australian theme. I think this is the last one we had of these. This one is 300-612. This is Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Oh, yeah. And again, a fabulous image. Same story. Each one of these is was available in Australia on a, a very, very limited period and then withdrawn so it became very very collectible in its own right and not been available for ages and ages and the fact that the fact that this has got christopher lee in it as well opened yeah. it up to a broader audience but again fabulous item 49 pounds and 90 so christopher lee played count duco yeah now duco means poison in japanese that's cool oh, isn't right. it? so that was his character name but when uh, in brazil they had to change the name because duco in uh, portuguese means, and I'll be careful what I say here, out of the bottom. Does it? This oh, year, that's right. what I, mean. I see. So they had yeah. to change the name to Count uh, du Duku instead. So they changed it to Count Duku because that worked better. But yeah, yeah. so there you go. Uh, and Christopher Lee, I mean, you know, he's renowned, obviously, Count Dracula, mm. all these Hammer movies. He was in James Bond. He did so much cult stuff. He was actually in James Bond. He's in Lord of the Rings. He's in Star Wars. He has a massive, 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 massive yeah. appeal. And to actually get something like that with an image of him is just so rare and so unusual. And it's the same story. Again, as you can see, that map of Australia, and you've actually got the character. I'm not quite sure how... Can we go in a little bit closer? Some, yeah, there we go. Look, some of those images, you'll see the character, the relevant character from yeah. Star Wars alongside the map of Australia. And they are actually really, they're all actually, actually, sorry. They are uh, individual postage stamps that collectively have been put together and transformed into what's known as a stamp sheet lid. It was produced as a collector's item purely to honour Star Wars uh, Attack of the Clones from Episode 2. Do you have a favourite Star Wars movie? Um, I like Return of the Jedi, but yeah, Attack of the Clones is it. pretty cool because it's got some, as you say, it's got Christopher Lee in it, it's got uh, Samuel L. Jackson, who just can't do any wrong because he's just brilliant. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, and Anakin, the, the, the whole kind of story of Anakin 
uh, you know, Skywalker, you know, all, you know the dark, whole sort of, because everybody knew what was going to happen, but they didn't know how it was going to happen. Yeah. And that was the thing with uh, with the Star Wars films. There's, there's a really interesting uh, fact, actually, with, with uh, Darth Vader was, when they were filming it, um, I know we talked about um, Dave Prowse not being not not using his voice. Yeah. But when he was speaking it, he actually said, "Obi Wan killed your father." Now that was so it didn't leak out the big spoiler that was, "I am your father." So when right. uh, James Earl Jones voiced it later on, he put, "I am your father," which really shocked not just uh, the other actors on set and of course um, the crew and all that because they all thought that. Obi Wan. There was a bit of a sort of uh, a bit of a red herring sent oh, down that right, way okay. to try and keep. Of course, these days with the internet and everything like that, these sort of things would leak out. But back then, they had to be very careful about these things. So it's quite an interesting story. I, think. I remember we went to Pinewood. I was invited to do like a charity party. They were making a movie about monsters and um, what were they doing about monsters? What was the other thing over in there? Anyway, someone's making this charity movie with a song. I know, a good mate of mine, Gary Curtis, does loads of songs. He's a great songwriter, very accomplished. And he's actually a massive Star Wars fan as well. So if you're watching Gary, I hope you're doing well, mate. But he um, he writes these songs for charity every year. And he did a, a one Christmas song with Sir Christopher Lee. Oh, wow. And it had uh, millions of, you know, hits on the internet. And it, but he, they, all the money that goes to it is donated and out to charities. And he asked us to do this one about monsters and ghouls. And uh, surprisingly enough, he said, well, do you want to be in it? And I said, leave it out, I can't act. So I was in, one, in this movie, and in the very next studio, they were filming Star Wars. Wow. So when you arrived, they said, are you for Star Wars or for that? And I went, no, I'm for that, you know. And then when we came out in the evening, the Star Wars actors were coming out at the same time as us, and you're talking to one or two of them. And all the fans are running up, and they go, who are you in Star Wars? <laughs> I don't know, no, that she was in she it. Just oh, said, right, she just said, she just said, you know. And they said, they're bound to think you're in it, Gary, because you're the right shape thing. and you're the right creatures, you know. We thought it was, uh, you know, you can actually see a clip of that if you're really sad one day. I if will. If you go on YouTube, you can find it. And it's called, uh, what's the song called? Can you remember? Um, it's a Christmas song, but it's with Gary Curtis, and you'll see it. And um, wow. it's great. It's about the world being taken over, oh my goodness, with a, a virus and all that. You know, I play like a doctor in it, so, you know. Can't wait or to a see scientist, that. really. Yeah, it's not a big thing, but it's done for charity. See that. I but it was great. The funniest thing was saying, people saying, oh, where are you going? Oh, I'm filming in uh, Pinewood. And they go, yeah, yeah. Well, this and is. <laughs> You bring up a good point, actually, because yeah, yeah. anything, anything to do with Star Wars is, is just crazy. Um, I've got a few friends that have been working on the, late, these, the latest films and have told me a few things, although I could never say anything now. But um, when they were coming out, that when, you, when you sign off as an extra or an actor or whatever, you sign up a chit, like, you know, your chair, a chit. Mm. And if it has Star Wars written on it, they'll buy it off you. So they were coming out and people were oh, I want to buy your chit and stuff like that. We're like, no, no, I want to keep it, you know. And that's yeah, like, yeah. So because the people that work on these films, love them you know and, yeah. and uh, that's the thing so Star <coughs> Wars know. will always be massive if you think of anything that you've seen in today's show I would, if you chose any just one of them or one or two of them uh, great way to start your collection and if you're a Star Wars fan or if you know somebody they're gonna love it yeah that that clip by the way if you're really sad one day you want to see me with a white coat on looking even more un frightening than I do now maybe it's called Alone at Christmas and uh, it's with um, as I say it's wow. with um, with Gary Curtis, it's quite something, but it, it's it's really funny, all about beasties and things. But it, the whole point of it is um, is is it was done for charity, which is the most important thing. Yeah, yeah. Cool. But it was funny coming out the door and all these Star Wars fans like twenty deep, you know. Hello, hello, who are you? <laughs> oh, nothing, you know. Are you the catering man? Or yeah, more or less. And, they this, and the star, and was, they, those people wait for like days, don't they? Oh yeah, they're there. Outside, and you yeah. can't get in. Obviously, yeah. security is really tight. Yeah. And once you get out the gate, they all come from everywhere, out of bushes and things, yeah, you know. Crazy. Unreal. Anyway, not insulting you if you have that passion and dedication. That's what it's good. For, yeah, more than I could do. Well done. Three hundred six one two. We'll bring you that Star Wars great stamp sheet lit there with the fantastic images there of Sir Christopher Lee, and of course on the other side that's uh, Mark Hamill, isn't it? Is that on Mark? No, oh, that's, no, no, that's, that's Anakin. That's Anakin, Anakin yeah. isn't it? Of course, From earlier, yeah. Hayden Christensen. Hayden, yeah. Great, great item. And remember, they were only available for a very limited period, withdrawn, and never been available since. So the only place you can pick them up occasionally is through the secondary market, like Benham, somebody like that. You can maybe pick up one every now and again if you're lucky. If you want that, get in quick because that particular one is the rarest of all the series.
It's a good one. Can't go wrong. £49.95 will bring you that real rarity there um, of Attack of the Clones from Episode 2 and, and that really rare Australian limited edition or limited availability is the correct word. Uh, stamp sheet lip, £49.95. Moving on, still, yes, there's more. This again, oh, wow. this is, I think we've got this down here. Let's have a little lean down here. Okay. This is actually, um, I've got this, I'll take this out actually because it will get a bit of a shine on it. But this is actually the uh, a commemorative cover, rather a large version. We've seen this earlier, but this one is uh, obviously a more affordable version because obviously it's not framed. But in this format, it's still a limited edition worldwide of only 250. There's nothing, is it? No, worldwide. that is amazing. Look at the detail on that as well. Yeah, the detail is fabulous, isn't all it? Different. There's a Absolutely Vulcan. superb, yeah. And all those great characters. How many of them can you remember? Oh, let's test you out. Oh, my goodness. You've Darth got, Vader, you've got Darth Vader, Vader, you've got Yoda, you've got Obi-Wan, of course. You've yeah. got a Stormtrooper, you've got Han Solo, you've got Ren. Yeah. Um, we've got, obviously got Princess that's Leia. That's Ren, Ren, that's Daisy. What's her name, isn't it? Ren. Who plays Who Ren? Plays Ren? Daisy Ridley. Daisy yeah, we're getting a nod from is. off camera. Yeah. That's good. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've got the Emperor. You've got Luke Skywalker, Boba Fett as well. Yeah, uh, Finn, that's Jeremy Bullock. Bullock. Yeah, and Kylo Ren as well. Yeah, and Finn was um, what's his name? What's his name? It's gone out my head. I'm doing really bad, really bad. Oh my god, I've got a mind blups. Sorry, but what's his name? He just finished in the uh, South Bank as well. He does loads of acting. Now. Really? Oh, okay. That yeah. Was, but 300 might take this along, get it signed. Free. Yeah. Good work. 300 613. And of course, you've got this. And if I just spin it round for a second, I'll just show you. I'll tell you, I'm not spinning you a yarn. There it says quite clearly that that is a limited edition of only 250 worldwide. Look at that. That's lovely, yeah. Can't be bad. If I, I just turn this round once more, I should say I don't want to wreck them, but if, if you look in these as well, each one comes, all the stiffener and everything, so they're really well produced, you know, and it will come ready, if that was me, I mean, you bought it like that, or if you're going to buy it like that, but it is ready to just slip in a frame and hang on your favourite wall. But imagine only 250 of these in the world. Oh, it's like the stamp That's on all there, there is, right? yeah. And again, yeah, that's right, Mark. it's been postmarked, yeah. yeah. It's been Star Wars postmarked and done at, um, where is this one? At Hothfield, which is near Ashford in Kent. That's a significant postmark, I believe, as well. Yeah. Look at that. But the day and the detail, detail on the, detail on the detail outside as well really, superb, really makes it jump it? out. It? Yeah, oh. they are brilliant. Look, absolutely superb. £22.95. There's not a Star Wars fan that, that wouldn't want that in their collection. No, Come it's on. brilliant, isn't it? And you can just take that out, slip it in a frame, and hang it on your favourite wall. Can't go wrong. Not at all. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? That's brilliant. Really is. The, the great thing about all of these items, do remember, though, give us a call. Don't miss out. And uh, if you have it, give us a call. Go on the web. But get in there quickly, because some of these items are very, very low in stock. Some of the signed items are particularly low in stock. So do not miss out. Do not miss out, please. We don't like disappointing you. So please get in there quickly. Otherwise, you could literally miss out. Isn't there more? And there's more. There's more. Yeah, there's more. Oh, and goodness. there's more. Fact Moving show. on. Now, here we spoke about my old mate Dave Prowse many, many, uh, several times in the show. What we've actually done here is given you a choice. The earlier one was a head and shoulder signed by Dave in a nice silver pen across the photograph. This one, as you see, comes beautifully framed and mounted, but obviously the price point is slightly different because what you've got, you've got to pay obviously for the extra for the frame and everything. But down here, you've got a signature of Dave Prowse on a card. Now, again, I can tell you where that was signed and when it was signed. So you've got a choice. You have it all framed up with a signature underneath, or you can buy it with just the signature on the photograph. The choice is yours. If you want the, the number for the one with the photograph, uh, it's 300 602, and that's slightly cheaper. That one comes out 
uh, 69 pounds. Oh, no, it actually comes out. Where are we look at, looking at? I'm telling you wrong, aren't I? It comes out 69 pounds 99. Sorry, because it is signed on the photo. This one comes framed and mounted with the signature underneath. So the choice is yours. But again, great item. Really, yeah, just stick on your wall. Full costume there. You can see what a powerful costume that is. An iconic costume. I don't think it's, you could take that picture out into the street in any high street in there. Uh, maybe in the world, and they would know who it was, wouldn't they? That's right, we were talking about that once, that probably, yeah, probably Darth Vader is one of those items that it probably is known just about anywhere, bad, isn't it, bad. I should think. Yeah. You get... Do you know Vader is Dutch for father? Oh, right. So oh. they were really giving you a big hint there, weren't they? Yeah. Really? But we didn't, yeah. we didn't see it. But we didn't see it coming, but yeah, Vader. That's yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. I was thinking about Star Wars, they always had these little, little, little clues, little hints, and, and that's things. why the fans used to... You know, cherish it. To, yeah, cherish it, pull it apart, really try and work it out. But the clever thing about the writing, and it's great that the films are still being made now. I mean, goodness me, you know, sure. next generations, it's just going to go on. There's another five films uh, in production, not, not presently at the moment, but, you know, as they, they're sort of rolled out. Yeah. And, uh, it's exciting. Well, I know Warwick Davis quite well as well. I mean, Warwick's become a superstar. Yeah. You know, he's in so many movies. He's done, yeah. you know, like so much stuff and doing Wicket. all these different shows. Yeah. Wicket from the Ewoks. Wicket. Yeah. He's now doing um, quiz shows on the yeah. TV. He's done yeah. the one with um, Keith P Picklet, Pilkington, it going around with uh, uh, Mr. Ricky Gervais, seeing yeah. them around the world. But he's a great, great character. And I know, um, you know, I've been out in the streets and I've been on the privilege of being on TV with. Uh, with um, Warwick, and he's a great, great guy. Yeah. But anything to do with Star Wars, it's just massive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Absolutely huge. massive. Now, if uh, we've now actually come to the end of the show, we've got one more item oh, to show you. And this is, we've left, some would say, we've left probably the most uh, difficult and hardest signature of any in the show to get. And that, of, well, quite probably anyway, of what we've got in the show, this is extremely difficult. This is 300 615, That's and this, of course, is Sir Christopher Lee as Count Doc, Dooku. Dooku, yeah. Yeah. Only, it's a stunning item. It really is a stunning item. Now, we have very, very one. few of these. Well, I think we've got one in that image, but right. we've got a, another one slightly different, okay. but of him in the same role. And it even tells you, I'm, am I allowed to just pick this up quickly? It tells you on the back here, look, it was signed, Christopher Lee signed this, signed in person by right. Christopher Lee on Saturday the 13th of November 2004 at the Radisson Edwardian Hotel Heathrow. Oh, yeah. And there's only five, originally 400 done, but there were 400, not all one image. This is number 85. Should we just so just the just image, I can turn it around and yeah. have a little look at all that. Because the mic making that back. up, you see. Yeah. That was read beautifully. <laughs> yeah, my poetry training. <laughs> Not potty training, poetry <laughs> training. There you are, look, as you can see. So we turn it back, but it's a great image of Christopher Lee. Now, because of his association with, um, obviously, Dracula mm. and Count Dracula, was also in Bond, Moonraker, wasn't he? With, yeah. With uh, James Bond was in Lord of the Rings. He's done so many cult, cult really is, stuff. Yeah. And particularly because of Count Dracula and all those Hammer m movies and stuff. He, he is just like... A really iconic character. Really isn't iconic, he? yeah. And and everybody wants to get a piece of um, of, of Christopher Lee. Yeah. And the signature, since he, you know, sadly is no longer with us, the value of his signatures absolutely soared. Mm. This, quite honestly, you have a little Google, have a little on the website, try and find some websites of companies who are got that Aftal logo behind them, so you know it's trust. And trust the AFTAL, very, very important that is when you're looking for your collectibles. Have a little look, and I bet you most of these signatures of Sir Christopher Lee now are well over £200. That's what I would say is about. And as you said, so I, I was, mean, you could find one and then you wouldn't even know if it was the real deal. This that's is the, the real deal. This that, is. that is the problem. You don't even know if it's real. At least here you'll get the. You'll get the uh, Certificate of Authenticity with that Aftal logo on. You'll get my name on it as well for what it's worth, Gary Ashburn, a collectibles guru. And it will not have, on the front, though. Not no. on the front. Oh, That's only on the swear. certificate. You don't need to worry about that. <laughs> and it will be all that wrapped up with you. And you don't even need to worry. So you can buy that safe in the knowledge. It is 100% genuine. And if you, are, if you do buy it for someone, it's very important that you keep 
the paperwork, keep the certificates and everything, because come the uh, come the future, if you ever want to move that on, I mean, put it in an auction or somewhere like that, it is. If you say to where'd you get it from, you say, well, look, I got it here on Benham TV. Here's the paperwork, the Aftel logo. Immediately they'll go fine, and they could actually seriously it could add. 15 to 20 percent to the value wow. because you've got no no proof of where you got it that then brings it into the questionable you know yep. so that is so important with sign collectibles to know where it was signed and when it was signed and you will know all of that info if you buy your collectibles here on benham tv it's been a packed show yeah yeah we've it really time's has. flying yeah isn't it? it really yeah, has massive so what's your favorite Come i've got on. a few i've got i like the one with the the stamps down there and this is just even though it's just so simple and i want you to frame it up yourself i think and i think that's right yeah the star wars framed full set of ca characters there with that special souvenir sheetlet underneath now this the detail on here is superb isn't yeah it? fabulous i'm not surprised you picked that listen we're racing out of time so i'll say thanks for coming in again great always, to have a, your pleasure. always a pleasure always really is great to have paul here any questions do get in touch with either of us here at info benham at uh, info benham tv but we look forward to seeing you again with some great items you'll yep. be back with harry potter i will loads of stuff don't forget to follow us on facebook instagram and Twitter as well. We'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Cheers. Bye bye.